When it comes to the ongoing regional conflict between Israel and Palestine, the U.S. doesn't for only back the creation of a Palestine state. That's coming from President Donald Trump during a summit with his Israeli counterpart on Wednesday. Yun Shin has more. In his first meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu since becoming president, Donald Trump indicated the United States is no longer committed to a two-state solution involving a creation of a separate Palestinian state. Uh, I thought for a while the two-state looked like it may be the easier of the two. But honestly, if Bibi and if the Palestinians, if Israel and the Palestinians are, are happy, I'm happy with the one they like the best as far as the... The eventual creation of a Palestinian state is held by the international community as the basic foundation of any agreement and has been one of Washington's core Middle West policies for nearly four decades. With the U.S. backing away from the policy, Netanyahu added his own prerequisites for a solution to the dispute. First, the Palestinians must recognize the Jewish state. Second, in any peace agreement, Israel must retain the overriding security control over the entire area west of the Jordan River. Because if we don't the region he's referring to we contains the West Bank area, which the international agreements recognize as the heart of any Palestinian state. But Trump also said Israel needs to show some flexibility, urging Netanyahu to refrain from building Jewish settlements in the region. As far as settlements, I'd like to see you hold back on settlements for a little bit. Israeli Prime Minister, however, made no promises in their regard. The settlements have long been considered an international matter, with former U.S. President Obama and the United Nations calling them an obstacle to peace. Palestinians, meanwhile, are warning against abandoning the two-state solution. Those who believe that they can undermine the two-state solution and replace it with what I call one state, two systems, maintaining the status quo now, apartheid. Earlier on Wednesday, U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres also stressed that there is no alternative to creating two states. Yin Xin, Arirang News.